Shannon, how are you? I'm good. Aloha. How are you? Aloha. Yes. <laughs> We've already got people calling uh, UCF's new quarterback the Hawaiian Punch. Huh? I like that nickname. That's pretty cool. First of all, Shannon, I, I, I'm interested in the Scott Frost comments yesterday that even though both of his senior quarterbacks, I guess, are healthy now, Justin Holman and Nick Patty, that he's going to go with Mackenzie Milton moving forward because he says Mackenzie Milton gives UCF the best chance to win right now. Um, being the cynic that I am, all right? Well, he said this week. He didn't say moving forward for all of the games. I'm, I just want to clarify that. Okay. Well, they're healthy right now, though, Holman and Patty, right? Did he say that yesterday? Yeah, he did. He said that he had all of his quarterbacks back up and completely healthy. So, um, yeah, they're good to go. I said this after the game on Saturday. Yesterday I said that if Justin Holman quarterbacks in the game on Saturday, that UCF probably wins because I don't think Justin Holman would have made nearly the amount of mistakes as the freshman made. Now, maybe he doesn't make some of the plays that the freshman made either, but, I mean, your thoughts on that. Could, uh, I mean, you, you've seen the response to Justin Holman from some of the fan base. Do, do you agree with this assessment, Shannon? If Justin Holman had played the exact same game as Mackenzie Milton on Saturday, what would have been, uh, been the response to him? Oh, if Justin Holman would have made the same errors yes. that Mackenzie Milton would yes. have had? They would have been calling for his head. Yes. No question. Um, but, you know, Justin Holman is also a senior. I understand. So I, think, I think that the level of patience with him is much shorter. I think, you know, M Mackenzie Milton is a freshman, so they're going to say, oh, you know, it's just his first game. The kid, you know, made a couple of throwaway mistakes. He won't do it again in the future. I think the next game is going to be more telling than the first game just because it was his first time playing in a college football game. So, you know, I think that that's why fans wouldn't give McKenzie as hard of a time as they would give Justin. He does also look, McKenzie Milton I'm talking about, he looks more natural in that offense for some reason. And again, he ran it in high school. He went to Scott Frost uh, camps at Oregon. Did you see that as well? Oh, absolutely. The offense definitely moved uh, a little bit more fluidly with McKenzie in there. And, and you're right. A lot of that is due to the fact that he has more experience doing this. Um, I do wonder if some of this also has to do with his demeanor. You know, Scott Frost talked a lot about McKenzie being a very calm kid, you know, kind of adjusting on the fly. Um, he likes that kind of that swag about him. The fact that he, he's not he's not someone that gets very tight. He gets very tense. He's very, very loose, sometimes maybe a little bit too loose, obviously. <laughs> he <laughs> likes to take risks. You know, he, he tries to be that Superman player sometimes, and I think that Scott likes that. He likes the upside that he sees in this kid. What's uh, Mackenzie Milton like uh, from a journalist perspective? What's he like uh, as far as any interview sessions? Is he, is he loose as well? Yeah, I, I interviewed him once during um, camp, and very laid-back kid. Um, and then after the, the game, the Maryland game, I was surprised they brought him in because normally, you know, you don't get a freshman quarterback to come in and address media after a loss like that. So I was very glad that we were able to talk to him. And I'd asked him a question about the size and the speed, and he gave a pretty funny quote talking about, well, there's a lot of big Polynesians back home, so <laughs> not really a big adjustment there. So, he's, you know, he's a very laid-back kid, very funny. Um, you can tell that he's someone that feels very comfortable in all situations. Okay, Shannon, I want you to, 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 to tell me about, now obviously Scott Frost was trying to, going to try to surprise surprise the opponent, Maryland, on Saturday by unveiling his new freshman quarterback. But I was reading your, your I think it was your story that said the quarterback's dad, Mackenzie Milton's dad, broke the story to some newspaper in Honolulu and it got out. Right. Well, you know, obviously they're from Hawaii, so a couple of newspapers in Hawaii had reported it Thursday night. So um, his dad was the one that had mentioned it to them. I don't know the exact story of how it went down. I just read the articles and I saw that he had spoken to someone in Hawaii. Because Scott, I mean, you'll vouch for this. It sounded like Scott Frost last week. It sounded like he was making everybody think that Holman was going to be back, didn't it? Mike, I don't know that this was some mastermind calculated plan. I, I really don't. I think that all camp long they had been saying they weren't really sure, sure who they were going to go with on quarterback. And once we saw Justin play, 
um, I, I believe it. I believe that it was a day-to-day thing where some days he looked like the guy. Other days it might have been Nick. Other days it might have been McKenzie. So I truly believe that they have been trying to figure out who's going to give them the best chance to win. And I think that they really were trying to give Justin Holman a good opportunity. I think he really is a player's coach. And, you know, he didn't want to just come in and take a spot from a senior, you know, especially someone who hadn't actually just lost the job. There are many reasons why the team struggled last year. They weren't all on Holman. Um, but, you know, after seeing the performance against uh, Michigan, Perhaps, you know, he saw some things that made him want to go a different direction. I got to tell you, Shannon, if I'm a UCF fan, even though they've lost these two games to Maryland and Michigan, I'm encouraged. I'm at the offense is moving. We talked about how they ran the ball against Michigan. It was moving last week against Maryland, and the defense is playing pretty darn good. If you're a UCF fan, are you encouraged right now? I think if you're a UCF fan, you should be very encouraged. And, you know, I know it sounds very cheerleaderish to say, yay, two losses, and they're still yeah. looking good. But, again, perspective. You have to look at where they came from last year. You have to look at the fact that they have a new coaching staff, a new offensive system, a new defensive system. Um, and a lot of these kids have had to develop a winning mentality again. So there's something to be said for losing 13 straight games and having to remember how to win how to come up in those big moments, how to not get down on yourself when you mess up on a play. So I think those are the the behind-the-scenes things that coaches have been working on. And on the field, yes, the the offense has actually gotten better each week. There are aspects of the game that have been improving. The run game has been a lot more consistent this year. The pass game got a lot better in the last game. It's 455 total yards of offense. That's pretty darn good and ran 91 plays. So you've seen that improve. And then defensively, they have been pretty consistent. The defensive line, I think, has done a great job this season, and there were a lot of question marks surrounding them. So I think they've really stepped up to the plate. You have linebackers that have stepped up to the plate. And the secondary, for the most part, has really, really improved throughout three games. All right, they got FIU this week. That's a game, I mean, obviously, we can say these last two games have been kind of like moral victories, if you want to call it that. But they need a real victory against FIU, don't they? Oh, yeah, and Dimitri Brown was actually speaking in the Monday press conference, and even he alluded to, you know, timeout for moral victories. <laughs> We're getting quite tired of moral victories. They want to put a win in the real win column, as he said. So this is a game they should be able to win. FIU is 0-3 right now. Um, they've given up about 400 yards um, to other teams' offenses. So I think that they've seen a little bit of struggle this season. But this will be an emotional game because you'll remember what happened last oh, year. Oh, yeah. You know, when FIU came up here and, and beat UCF and they miss, and UCF missed the field goal. And there's a lot of kids on the roster that are from South Florida. So you never know how that emotion is going to come into play, especially with younger kids. So it'll be very interesting to see how things play out. But I think UCF should be able to handle this. Shannon Green, nobody covers UCF better. Check out all of her coverage at orlandosentinel.com. Thanks, Shannon. Thanks, Mike.